Hello everyone. Today's presentation is going to be all about occupational health and safety. Presented by Colonel Gray's OHS Youth Representatives, Lauren Smith and Kylie Bustard. What is occupational health and safety? Occupational health and safety may be referred to as OHS. Occupational health and safety is all about keeping everyone safe in the workplace. Three things that you should know. Workplace environments can be dangerous, but getting hurt at work is not okay. Employees must provide training and do everything they can to keep workers safe. Employees have the right to ask for what they need and refuse unsafe work. The first important thing we think you should know about OHS is that workplaces can be dangerous, but getting hurt at work is not okay. Some workplace environments are more dangerous than others, but there are hazards everywhere. The five main types of hazards include safety, biological, physical, ergonomic, and chemical hazards. A common phrase you may hear is that getting hurt at work is just part of the job. That statement is not true. A basic right for all workers is that you may be safe in the workplace. Number two, employers must provide training and do everything they can to keep workers safe. Let's talk about this point some more. All workers are entitled to the training they need to do their job safely, whether that is because they're a new worker, because they got new equipment, with new processes, or in new conditions. Otherwise, you may look like this chicken, not knowing which buttons to press, and that could be harmful. And employers must supervise their workers to ensure ongoing workplace safety. Workers must be given the information they need to stay safe. This includes information on training, safety equipment, hazards, emergency procedures, personal protective equipment, and who to contact with concerns. The OHS Act. On PEI, there's law around keeping workplace environments safe. The OHS Act outlines employer responsibilities, which include provide training and supervision, address all workplace hazards, maintain equipment, ensure PPE also known as personal protective equipment, is used when required, and to keep workers safe. The third important thing we want you to know about OHS is that workers have the right to ask for what they need and the right to refuse unsafe work. Employee rights. Workers have the right and responsibility to ask for what they need. This includes training, supervision, and demonstrations, a brighter light, a longer ladder, a cleaner bathroom, or instructions often repeated or clarified. If you're asked to do a task at work that you don't feel is safe, get the help you need. The first step in staying safe at work is talking with your supervisor if they're asking you to do a task that you feel is unsafe. If the task still seems unsafe, then the next step is to talk with your health and safety representative or someone on the Joint Occupational Safety and Health Committee. If from there, you're still being asked to do the task and you still feel it's unsafe, the third and final step that should be taken is to call the OHS division, who will start an investigation into the task. When your health or safety is at risk, Say no. To recap, the three important things we think you should know about workplace safety is that workplaces can be dangerous, but getting hurt at work is not okay. Employers must provide training and do everything they can to keep workers safe. And finally, workers have the right to ask for what they need and refuse unsafe work. Internal Responsibility System Everyone has a role to play in keeping their workplace safe. 
What role you have depends on your place in the organization. We all own our safety at work. As everyone has their own roles and responsibilities in keeping the workplace safe, here are some responsibilities of the employer. Their, their responsibilities include taking every reasonable precaution to ensure the health and safety of all at or near the workplace. They are to follow OHS Act and regulations. They are to provide supervision and training to all workers. They are to ensure that workers are aware of all hazards. It's their job to maintain equipment, ensure workers use required personal protective equipment, that they cooperate with safety committee and representatives, and to report any accidents that may occur. Responsibilities of the employee. Take every reasonable precaution to ensure your own health and safety. Report all injuries and unsafe conditions. Cooperate with safety committees and or representatives, if any, and wear the proper PPE, personal protective equipment. As a worker, you have many rights. Your three main rights are the right to know, the right to participate, and the right to refuse unsafe work. Workers have the right to know all information they need to stay safe, how to safely do their assigned tasks, and they have the right to know about hazards in their workplace and how to prevent injury. Workers also have the right to participate, that is by reporting hazards, by reporting unsafe work conditions, by joining the Workplace Safety Committee, and by speaking up about safety issues. Finally, they have the right to refuse unsafe work. The steps to refusing unsafe work is speaking with their supervisor, speaking to safety reps or members of the safety committee, or finally, by bringing your concerns to OHS. I think that pretty much sums it up. Want to win a $50 gift card of your choice? Answer the following three questions and text us the answers on Instagram. Our Instagram account is at colonel underscore gray dot OHS. You will be entered into a draw to win the prize. Good luck, Colonels. Thank you for watching our presentation. And if you choose to enter the contest, good luck. If you have any other questions about occupational health and safety throughout the school year, you can find us on Instagram at colonel underscore gray dot OHS. Win prizes. We will be having more contests, events, and activities throughout the school year where you can win various prizes. So stay tuned, Colonels.